Shizuoka, under the shadow of Mount Fuji, stretching along the Pacific coast, rich in culture. But beneath this tranquil scene is a world of passion. Four J-League teams, a non-league giant killer, some of the country's best high school teams, and legends of the game. No wonder it's called Japan's Football Kingdom. This is Football Destinations Japan, Shizuoka. When you glance out of the bullet train window and see Mount Fuji in all its glory, you'll be traveling through Shizuoka Prefecture. Japan's iconic mountain defines this beautiful corner of the country and makes for some truly incredible views. Shizuoka stretches from the border with Kanagawa all the way down the coast to Aichi. There's Atami, the seaside resort and gateway to the breathtaking Izu Peninsula, Shizuoka City with its history and culture, and the industrial powerhouse of Hamamatsu. And that's all great. But what about football? How did this cultural, historical, beautiful prefecture become Japan's football kingdom? To answer that question, let's dive into the clubs that call Shizuoka home, starting with the most colourful of them all. There are few teams in Japanese football as iconic as Shimizu Espolos. The shirts, the players, the performances, the mascot, and, of course, the stadium. Shimizu Espolos are also one of the most important teams in the history of Japanese football, a club that defined the brave new world of the J-League. In the early 1990s, Japanese football was changing. The corporate team dominated Japan Soccer League was coming to an end, to be replaced by the professional J-League, and Shizuoka was to have a team. But only one team, which was a problem. Yamaha FC, who became Jubilo Iwata, and who we'll talk about in more detail later, were a strong Japan Soccer League team and were considered to be the favourite to gain Shizuoka's J-League berth for the inaugural season of the competition. But instead, the prefecture's new boys were chosen, sparking a rivalry that still lives on today. Shimizu FC were founded in 1991, backed by local businesses and with the sole purpose of joining the J-League. They would play their home games at the stunning Nihon Daira in Shimizu, now part of Shizuoka City. Just two months after being founded, the club name changed to Shimizu s -Pulse. The S representing the words Shimizu, Shizuoka, Soccer and Supporter. It may have been a somewhat surprising decision to choose s -Pulse over Jubilo as an inaugural member of the J-League, but it seemed to be a good one with Shimizu immediately on the pace. They reached the final of the very first J-League Cup, losing out 1-0 to Verdi Kawasaki, and they made the final again the very next season, once again losing out to Verdi Kawasaki. But the club wouldn't have to wait much longer for their first piece of silverware, and revenge. In 1996, Espolse beat Verdi on penalties in the final to finally lift the J-League Cup and more silverware was to come. But so was another near miss, and one that really hurt. In 1999, J1 used the two-stage system. Jubilo won the first stage and Espulse won the second, setting up a Shizuoka showdown for the overall title. It would be decided over two legs. Jubilo won their home match 2-1, and Espulse also won their home match 2-1. So it went to penalties and Jubilo came out on top 4-2 in the shootout to lift the J1 title. To this day, it's the closest Espulse have come to being league champions. Espulse suffered another near miss when they lost the Emperor's Cup final to Yokohama Flugels on January 1st, 1999. But the Flugels were unable to take up their place in the Asian Cup Winners' Cup after being merged with Yokohama Marinos. So Espulse replaced them, and you can probably guess what happened next. That's right, Espulse won the Asian Cup Winners' Cup. This was a golden spell for Espulse. In 2001, they added another trophy to their cabinet, lifting the Emperor's Cup for the first time. And that wasn't all. 
They also racked up back-to-back -back Super Cups in 2001 and 2002. But at the time of making this video, that 2002 Super Cup was Shimizu Esports' last piece of silverware. Since then, life has been a series of near misses and setbacks. Esports reached the Emperor's Cup final in 2005 and 2010, losing both times. But by the mid-2010s, the club were in relegation trouble. And in 2015, Esports were relegated from J1 for the first time. Ultimately, it was a solitary season in the second tier for the club, as they bounced back at the first attempt with a second place finish. But since returning to J1, the club have failed to rekindle any of their former glories. There have been no cup finals and only a best place finish of 8th in 2018. But the club remain one of the most colourful in the J League, with some of the most passionate fans in the country. While Esports have had to deal with near misses, their prefecture rivals have had a better time since joining the J-League. Jubilo Iwata were one of Japan's biggest teams. The record books still hold them up as one of the most successful in the J-League, despite the last few years being somewhat difficult. As mentioned earlier, Jubilo Iwata's past stretches back to the corporate days of Japanese football. They were founded as the Yamaha Motors Soccer Club in 1972 in the city of Iwata, Shizuoka Prefecture. They joined the Shizuoka Prefecture Soccer League in 1974 and quickly progressed through the leagues, reaching the regional Tokai League by 1977. In 1978, they moved into the Yamaha Motors ground next to the company's factory in Iwata and they still play at this venue today. The club made the step up to national level football in 1979, joining the Japan Soccer League Division 2, and a second place finish meant they won promotion to the top flight of Japanese football for the 1980 season. In 1982, Yamaha won the Emperor's Cup, and from 1983 onwards they were a mainstay in Division 1, and won the title for the only time in the 1987-88 season. And this brings us back to the contentious decision that created one of the biggest rivalries in Japanese football. Yamaha Motors had the history, success and infrastructure to become one of the founding members of the J-League when it began in 1992. Both Shimizu and Yamaha asked to join, but were told that only one team from Shizuoka was allowed in the first season of the J-League. It was even suggested that the two teams could merge to ensure they would both become founding members. But in the end, after a long consultation period, Shimizu got the nod. The Iwata club wouldn't have to wait too long for their big chance though. In 1991, they joined the Japan Football League, which was effectively a waiting room for the J-League. They won the title in 1992 and finished second in 1993. There was only one place to go from here. Under the name Jubilo Iwata, the club joined the J-League for the 1994 season, and it didn't take them long to make their mark. They reached the final of their very first J-League Cup, but lost out to Verdi Kawasaki in the final, and they lost in the final again in 1997. But things were about to get a lot better for Jubilo. They put the disappointment of losing the J-League Cup behind them, by lifting the J-League title for the first time in 1997. The following season, they ended up second overall in the league, but finally won the J-League Cup. And 1999 was one of the club's best ever seasons. They won their second J-League title, as well as the Asian Club Championship and Asian Super Cup. They picked up a domestic Super Cup in 2000, and were J-League champions for the third time in 2002. And in 2003, they won the Emperor's Cup for the second time in the club's history. Back-to-back -back Super Cups were also achieved in 2003 and 2004. Jubilo Iwata were a winning machine of Japanese football during this time. But it wasn't to last. A second J-League Cup in 2010 was a last hurrah of their silverware winning era. 
A 17th place finish in 2013 sent Jubilo down to J2 for the first time. They spent two seasons in the second tier, winning promotion back to J1 in 2015 with a second place finish. But life back in J1 wasn't a new dawn. Bar a 6th place finish in 2017, the club struggled, and in 2019 they finished rock bottom and were heading back to J2. Things though, may be looking up again. In 2021, Jubilo won the J2 title and are back in the top flight for the 2022 season. Let's see if this can be the start of a new era of success for Jubilo Iwata. And what Jubilo's promotion back to the top flight means is the return of the Shizuoka Derby. When Shimizu Espulse and Jubilo Iwata meet, the atmosphere is incredible. In 2001, when the two teams met in J1 at Ikopa Stadium, the attendance was 52,959, one of the highest ever attendances in the history of the J-League. But there's more than one J-League derby in Shizuoka Prefecture. Fujieda My FC have an interesting name and story. They were created through a merger between Fujieda Nelson and Shizuoka FC. Fujieda Nelson were named after former Japan international Daishiro Yoshimura, who was born Nelson Yoshimura in Brazil before taking Japanese citizenship. And Shizuoka FC were founded by the father and uncle of Kazuyoshi Miura, the world's oldest footballer. In 2009, My Football Club bought Fujieda Nelson and in 2010 also acquired Shizuoka FC. Those familiar with Ebb's Fleet United in English football will recognise the My Football Club name. The idea behind it was that anyone could pay for membership and then have a say in how the club was run. Ebb's Fleet were the first club to be operated under this system in 2007, with the newly named Fujieda My FC following in 2009, but with no connection to the Ebb's Fleet ownership company. The new name My FC meant My Football Club. In 2009, the club competed in Shizuoka Prefecture League Division 1 and progressed to the regional Tokai League the next season. Following back-to-back -back league titles, the club were promoted to the national level Japan Football League for the 2012 season. And after only two seasons at this level, they moved up to the J League as a founding member of J3 in 2014 the third tier of Japanese football. But by 2015, the My Football Club ownership scheme had come to an end. It said that there were only 60 paid members, making it, of course, unsustainable. Since then, the club have been run as a public company, but have kept the My FC name. The club's best performance to date in J3 was in 2019, when they finished third, but Despite being in contention for a top 2 finish, the club didn't have a J2 license at the time, so weren't eligible for promotion. Now though, the club do have a J2 license, so their beautiful stadium in the hills above Fujieda could soon be hosting second tier games. The other J League team in Shizuoka is Azul Kuraro Numazu. The club's history goes back to 1974, when they were founded as Numazu Arsenal, becoming Numazu Cordial Club in 1980. The club didn't become Azul Kudaro Numazu until 2006, when they were playing in Shizuoka Prefecture Division 1, and it would take another six seasons before they stepped up to the regional Tokai League. But from this point, the club's ascent was more rapid. They finished second in the Tokai League second division in 2012 and fourth in the first division in 2013. And in 2014, they stepped up to the national level Japan Football League, just one step below the J League. Numazu showed steady improvement at this level, and in 2016, a third place finish was enough to make Azul Kolaro Numazu the fourth Shizuoka team in the J League and Numazu hit the ground running in J3 
finishing third in 2017 and fourth in 2018. But despite being in the race for a top two finish, the club didn't have a J2 license, so were not eligible for promotion. Unfortunately for Numazu, they still don't have a J2 license. Their home ground, Ashtaka Athletic Stadium, doesn't meet the floodlight requirements to play in the second tier. The club are actually unable to play night games at all due to the floodlight issue and work is planned to resolve this situation. Not just to eventually gain a J2 license, but also to ensure they can maintain their J3 status. Below the J-League, there's another team from Shizuoka. This team is the destroyer of JFL promotion dreams and the cause of nightmares for J-League sides. Honda FC. This is a club unlike any other in Japanese football. Their history goes back to 1971 when they were founded as the corporate team of Honda Motor Company in Hamamatsu. They joined the Japan Soccer League in 1975, which was then the second tier of Japanese football. And after two title wins in three years, they won promotion to the top flight for the 1981 season. They would remain at the top level of the Japan Soccer League until the league disbanded in 1992 to be replaced by the J-League. Over the years, the club have made several plans to join the J-League but ultimately nothing has come of it, which has left them to dominate the Japan Football League. Since 1999, they've won the title nine times and finished runner-up five times. This has also caused headaches for teams looking to win promotion from the JFL to the J-League. A top four finish is required for promotion, but with Honda FC almost always occupying one of those positions, in reality, there were usually only three promotion places to fight for. And in the Emperor's Cup, they've been a constant thorn in the side of J-League teams, knocking out the likes of Yokohama F Marinos, Udawa Reds and Nagoya Grampus over the years. And since the start of the JFL era, they've reached the Emperor's Cup quarterfinals three times. There is of course a lot more to the Honda FC story, which will be the topic of a separate video. Shizuoka is also famous for youth football in Japan. It's the third most successful prefecture in the history of the Japan high school soccer tournament with 10 titles and 10 runner-up finishes. And in the girls competition, Fujieda Junshin have lifted the winner's trophy five times since 2006 and four times in the last seven years. And of course, this means the prefecture has produced more than its fair share of talented footballers, including Masashi Nakayama, Shinji Ono, and the world's oldest footballer himself, Kazuyoshi Miura. So that was Football Destinations Japan, Shizuoka, and I think we can all agree that it fully deserves its reputation as Japan's football kingdom. Thank you for watching.